A very good evening, everyone. I am CA Amit Shanai, your AI avatar from Bengaluru. I use CA Chart GPT version and Chart GPT 4 version in my day to day life. I began my AI journey just previous month. Since then, my primary focus is on creating automations on various works like in tax audit or a statutory audit or in valuation segment or in secretarial practice. For this, for this each segment, I just spend some time and try to figure out how automations can be possible how and how to accumulate those various prompts, uh, various instructions in one particular database so that next time for next assignment, if you, if you want to use same uh, level of prompts, it is easy so that we, we need not waste our time. So far, I have developed more than 10 plus prompts for performing statutory audit work. Now, I would like to speak on how A can be effectively used in tax audit. This is the 360 degree view on how automations are possible in tax audit, right from engagement letter level till documentation. For example, for drafting engagement letter, automation is possible. Then for performing audit, we need tax audit program. And as per code of ethics, for every assignment, there has to be a, an audit program, including for tax audit not only for statutory audit. Hence, it is important to have an audit program even for tax audit. Then for tax audit checklists, many people are of the view that the clauses, 44 clauses, what are there in tax audit, that itself is a checklist and there is no need of checklist. Actually, it is not so. We need to have a checklist even for tax audit. Then A can be also used to perform various data entry works in tax audit form. Like for example, for drafting, I mean, for updating the clause on employees contribution on PF and ESI. Suppose if a assessee has got 84 branch and they've got 800, 900 plus entries. In those cases, we can use this CA chart GPT or chart GPT versions to get the data entry works easily done through this chart GPT. Then chart GPT can be also used for reviewing various complex workings and disallowances that we come across in tax audit and income tax computation. For example, if you have some, if you have, if you have done some, let's say depreciation as per IT Act we have done, we want A to review that. So we can just take a print screen, just a, uh, just a print screen of that and we can paste it to chart GPT. So that will give us the output as to whether your working is correct there can be certain complex matters in depreciation. In those cases also, it will help us. Then suppose let us say we have some qualifications in 3CA, 3CD form. There, there are certain issues. We want to know the formats for how to qualify certain aspects. For those cases as well, we can use this chart GPT. We can just tell the context what is our exact issue. Based on that, it can give us the right qualification. Then also, let us say we are not aware of income tax sections, but by practice, we are good in that. We know what, what exactly these deductions are. We have a lot of disallowances. We are also interested in updating the section number. We want to know under which section this is disallowed. Let us say PF disallowance, TDS disallowance, or preliminary expense disallowance. We want to know. If you, if you just update, if you just take the screenshot of your income tax computation without the name of the company and if you just paste it to chat gpt it will give you the desired answers and you can give further instructions if you are not happy with the answers what you have got you can say i want in tabular form this is not okay read correctly and come back you can guide it properly so that it can produce a good result then also documentation 
documentation is part of the tax audit to do this documentation we we, we, we along with our tax audit workings we also want engagement letters tax audit programs all these things so as peer review is mandatory for all the cs all the cf cfms now so for those things our chat gpt will help us then form 3 cd we can fill it by subscribing to tools like winman or any other tools and most of the questions it comes it is interlinked to our income tax computation and then for other things we there will be xml there will be excel utilities using that we can update our form 3 cd then management representation letter for mrl also we can use chat gpt now i will give a live demonstration of how this ca chat gpt can be used to generate three things in one go that is engagement that is engagement letter next one is tax audit program next one is tax audit checklist and mrl how this three four things can be completed in one go including the name of the assessee the signing partner name each and everything is my excel file visible sir yes yeah for example now this is my chat gpt paid version this is my in detail excel template so i have created excel templates for each prompts so this is exclusively for tax audit like this i have similar template for statutory audit including for audit reports and other matters for example this is my template i will give the basic details which are required for updating mrl engagement letter and other audit checklists and audit program those information which forms part of your output those details are filled here and i am telling chat gpt what are the outputs i want and i am telling i am, I am giving guidance to it from where you can pull the input details and give me the desired output and i and i am also telling chat gpt give me the word files for format based outputs and give me the excel files for works like tax audit checklist tax audit program for these matters and i am also giving additional instructions these instructions are given based on the wrong outputs what i have got so based on those things i have given certain additional instructions like for example print on the letter head or again signature it it comes with brackets i don't want those works to be again done manually i want chat gpt to everything with regard to those forms which are format in nature basically basically all this data entry works to the possible extent i want to use chat gpt for example now i will give my instructions to chat gpt this is my request can you do this all this all these questions instructions i have copied so that next time we need not waste our precious time now i will take a print screen or i will take i will just copy it this chat gpt likes image based inputs even if you just paste it here it will convert into image based you can make out using that the answers what you get by updating the image based inputs is better than what you upload through attachments through this tab through this link final 2 minutes remaining yeah sure this is validating our inputs including the audit fees financial year name of the signing partner membership number everything it is it is coming you can also put udn number and give space so that even that will also come along with the output
this memory updation is very important you can also upload let's say you are so many you have got so many formats you can upload them in one stroke and later if you just fill this kind of excel templates and say that please consider this inputs and prepare mrl please consider this inputs and prepare audit report like that if you give instructions it will do the things on its own the input the output what we get that we have to just review to ensure that it is perfect Sorry, everyone, it's already eight o'clock. Sorry, I'll just complete it in one or two minutes. So here the draft engagement letter is ready. So I will tell where is MRL. Sometimes if, if the if the questions are too much, it will it will it doesn't like. So you can give standalone one by one requirements also. In this template, I clubbed three, four requirements. Hence, it is taking little time. Sometimes we'll also get some generic formats, and hence it is better if, if you want output also to come, including client name, everything. It is better you download the the formats from the relevant tabs and upload them, and just fill your this Excel sheet and paste it here. You will get the better output so that you will get rid of these generic outputs. It's going on. Similarly, I will tell you for PF and ESI, let us say we've got 10, 15 branches. You just paste these things here and, and, and attach your PF challenge of 10, 12 months or whatever, whatever months and, and, and request it to give the output in this way. It gives you an output. This is one more tool. Then similarly for watching of sales, watching of purchases, for these items also, if you just upload your purchase invoice files or sales invoice files, you can get the watching part done. It will read all the invoices. Uh, time is over. Yeah. Thank you, everyone.